Is your boy doggy dog here? Well, you know I just do it. I just put water in my mouth to talk and so I bite it, so I sell it. So gather your friends. How about uh, do a special live this afternoon? Like to build up a little bit. You don't really want to miss this one. Concerns, this concerns Asha Samaru and Dwarka. Somebody sent a message to TV, Sunshine, and Kia because I wanted to hear what I had to say. I don't know who I is by now. Asha Samaru, brother. That bitch. That's how I say That bitch. You have a going on. Today is not really about she. But today, or tonight, is about I. As it is. All you know that I is to support this man they call Dwarka Mahavye. I stand up with this man back to back. No, for, who, for all who know who is Dwarka Mahavye, that is the man that Asha Samaru say molasim, molashi when she was young, when she was a child. So here was the real scene tonight. Tell it all. Because if Dwarka Mahabia feel he could bully people and get away, he can't bully me. I one man in Kiaboli. So here how the story goes. You know, Sunday morning, I made a little life talking generally to people who post minor children pictures when they pong in each other. I said, you should be bringing minor children into big, big people's pong. And knowing Dwarka Mahavya, now he's no uncle, eh? See the video and send me some text messages on WhatsApp. Now I screenshot it and I have it. I'll be posting it on social media after the slide. So he called. I enter a movie, so I decline the call. Then I hear my phone going off with messages. Telling me about who. Oh. Yeah, the time the call. I hear your, your, your boss, your, your hot and sweaty and siding for your foreign sister. Don't call my name in your mouth. And has nothing to do with me and my family. And he won back the things he gave to me. We buy in New York and bring for me. And some money. So here we're going on. Let me start the offer. Two fucking old fish and real. You had home in your house, you bring for me. To bribe me. I call you and tell you when I had an old car, my transmission breakdown, I need a little money, you think it'll help me out to so fix the transmission. You organize and you send some money for me. You say you walk back your money and you walk back the things I give you. you give me. Now the phone I'm using here is the same phone he sent for me, which I'm going to use to fuck him up. 
I don't give a fuck when you tell Asha Samaru. I don't give a fuck what you tell that bitch. But you see when it's coming to them kind of statement to me, I'm going to let your hands up, they go no. That is a lying, conniving fucking man. Try to big watch me. That man manipulated my mind. That man made me believe everything he's saying is true and we asha saying or samaru saying that bitch lying you know you remember some months ago about a year ago he come up he, he put up a live with a recording by my house if all you can remember the carpet was showing and he was asking my mother a question now I wasn't home. My madam was home. I was walking and when I come I meet him here. My right my wife cooked dal and rice and duck she was making roti for them to eat. And knowing that my wife tell me, and knowing that he take out the phone and hide it between he and my mother recording and coaxing the woman to say that she know she daughter never tell she that. You understand? And how she doing, how, how Asha doing that because uh, he posts up, she mouth shut. He coaxed me, my mother. He coaxed my mother. I'm going to tell you the truth today because let me tell you something to around the world. I'm 49 years of age. And it's time for me to speak my truth. Because I'm going to tell you Now, the way he's carrying about make me believe 
that he really interfered with that fucking child when she was a, 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 a little girl. That's how we make him feel. I can't say, I don't know, I wasn't there. But the, the way he operated, let me tell you something, Chad Tobago. You see all the thing I tell that girl, how she raped me, and all that. Dwarka Mahabia pay me. Pay me to say them thing. He say if I say them thing, he go handle me. You want to fucking, you want to bully people, Dwarka Mahabia, you want to pose on people, you want to war people, war me. War me, Dwarka, war me. War me. I just want man afraid you. You're telling you, you don't call the children to children to do with me. Let me ask you a question. Where you was? Where you was, Dwarka Mahabia, when you leave your loving, sexy wife down here? Leave she and go to New York with the next woman. Go on with the next woman to live in New York and leave your loving wife down here with two little children. Eh, where you was? You're calling my children now? Eh, you're calling my children now? Eh? You should be shamed, Zoya. You, you should be shamed. You leave your you leave your wife to go with the next fucking man, a next woman up there. And she bust a hole in your mother cut with a white man up there. You feel me, you know? You feel me, you know? When you come down Christmas, why you tell you when you come down every Christmas? It's by the same woman you leave. You just go by. Show him on your phone. You have cameras in each one of your room. Macoin. To see what's going on inside your fucking house. Yeah? You come down to the dad. You leave the woman down here, you know. You leave the woman years, donkey years, you leave the woman. And go on with the next woman to New York. And leave the woman down there to suffer. The woman take up she self and go on by she mother and father. She mother and father pass away. And leave a big mansion for she. But you're coming down here to play your own in she fucking house. Eh? You're coming down here to play your own in she house and feel like yours. Eh? You want to put out your fucking son and law kind of thing? Eh? Because he mining duck in the back. Eh? You're playing boss as somebody else thing. And where you living? Where you living? How much years of a donkey years of you can't build a fucking house yet? Eh? You can't build a house yet, but you talking about other people? Let me tell you something, so you have better for fucking you. And never, I will never side with you again. I don't want to hear one fuck about you. I don't pray you. Hear me? I don't pray you, Lord. You understand? Get out of your fucking brains. I don't pray you. You ever say I My car must crash and I must dead? Eh? Yeah? But you are no fucking shame, boy. But I want the world to know you used to pay me to cuss that girl. You used to pay me to lie on she. And I know all the rest of people that you used to pay. But they never do me nothing. They never tell me my eye black. So I wouldn't be calling them out. You understand? I wouldn't be calling. They was always good to me. Although them and Asha in war, they was always good to me. And they know who they are. You understand? I wouldn't be calling them out. Get your to big old. Your wife telling you. That man does only watch to see who don't like that girl, that bitch, Asha Samaru. To send them little money and to put hate in people's mind against that woman. Although I don't like the fucking bitch. Although I don't like that mother con bitch. And I want no forgiveness from she. I ain't doing this for she. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to clear my conscience. So when the day when I die, I don't have to take that fucking lies in my chest. Now why I'm telling you. You feel you, boy. Little boy, sit down. Sit down, Sulia, sit down. Sit down. He's a lying, manipulative fucking man, boy. He's a scamp. 
you're only looking at and, and, and trying to place hate against one people. It's because of you, you Dwarka, it's because of you, this family against each other, the Mahabir family against each other. Everybody fighting with everybody because of fucking you. And you have so many citizens in this country, and my country, Chan Tobago, and some citizens away fighting against me family because of fucking you. You trying to, and hear you trying to put the fuck, watch me, I don't give a fuck what you say, or who say what I say, if she or not. But the truth is the truth. You understand? You try, you put in, you trying to put that fucking child. How she named Amelia against she mother. You, you put in thing in people fucking, you sending people information, just like what you used to do to me. Send me information to post up. You forget when we was in the WhatsApp group or what? Yeah? You forget when all of we was in the WhatsApp group? I never call you WhatsApp people because I had the respect for them. You understand? But you forget the, when we just sit down and panchai and make plans. How to make she feel, how to lash she? Yeah? You forget that? But let me tell you something. It have more to come. But I go leave it for another day. He's a lying, stinking, nasty man, you. And you see those, those texts you send me, I'm going to post on social media. Because I want the public to see that I'm speaking, what I'm speaking is the fucking truth. My car must crash and I'm a dead. Boy, you's a wicked, nasty man, boy. You're lying on the fucking woman. You must really rape the fucking woman, who knows? You understand? And trying for I to fucking down. Let me tell you something, Solia. You are fucking asshole. Making this live, it has two people in this country. I know it got affect real bad. And two people that I consider very highly. And that is my two cousins. That is his daughters, them, Dorka. Work at two daughters. But I want all you to know, cousin. Your father pushed me to this. Your father pushed me for I to come out and bust the files. Because you have seen the text he sent me. Knowing that I, lifeless mother called man boy, lie for this man. Taking this man money and just lying for this man. Trying to bring down. And let me say, bring down my fucking sister. I say it like that. It I had no blood with fucking me and she. I don't give a fuck about she. She has she life to live and I have mine to live. But I want you all to know. I want you all to know. That you only looking for comments and back and all. Come out on social media now. Come out, make a video, come out. You, you, you only make a high computer? Come on, text can't do nothing. You could text, but I could speak. You understand? Know, He's a dirty fucking man. You lie on that fucking girl. And I know, no. Mister, I'm going to fucking make it my business now to deal with you. You know what I'm telling you? I'll make it my business. One way or the other. Is a lying man, boy. God forgive my soul. I beg the Almighty God to forgive my soul for lying and telling that girl all kind of thing. I don't want nothing from fucking she. And I don't want no mother called part of she. But this one gonna shock you, Mr. Dorka. And I, I know he gonna shock you. He gonna hit you in your core, you asshole. So I. Ravi, Asha, brother, I want to publicly apologize to you, Miss Asha Samaru, for the things I say to you and the lies I lie on you. It doesn't make me less of a man to apologize. But mind you, I'm not going to ask you for no forgiveness. I don't want no forgiveness from you. You understand what I'm saying? 
So me, you're the same old bitch. You understand? I, I rabbi public apolog publicly apologize to Asha Samaru for the nasty things I say about you. But I will ask my God to forgive me. So the day I close my eye, I could go in peace. You understand? So children to Bego and the people around the world. I'm making my life in my car because my son inside. I don't want to hear, you know, where it is really going down. He's a nasty man, Dwarka. He's a nasty man. And you have one fuck to get from me. I'll take your two fish in real estate for me and pelt it in the fucking bush. Them two old beat up fucking fish in real estate for me. And thank you for all the money you sent for me <coughs> to cost Asha. The money you pay me to cost Asha, thank you for all that. And for the little money you pay my bill with uh, for fixing my car. I am grateful, I'll tell you thank you. You understand? But your day is numbered. Your day is numbered. And don't push me. Don't try to push my button. One more thing I gotta say. And it's none of my business really. I never grew up with a girl. And it's not my business because that's between mother and daughter. But to my cousin, he is a young, beautiful woman. He is intelligent. And I always believe that you were the smartest one in the family, the most intelligent one in the family. And you are there watch your life. I go see, I can't say nothing, but I'm disappointed in you. Let me give you a little bit of advice. The world, owe, the world owe you nothing. You're a 24 year old adult. The world owe you nothing. But my advice to you, that you're going down the wrong road. You're going down the wrong road. People don't, don't care about people. People just use it. People to get what they want, the information, whatever they need, it, to bash the heaters. And a strong word of advice to you. You see, you and your mother, all the try and patch up all the differences. Patch it up. Because here what happened. Life too short. Life too short for this shit. It's too short for this shit. You know what I'm telling you? You know, all you have to call each other and, and, and look to have a, a conversation. You know? I as your uncle really can't help you financially. But I have a little small home. If you ever need a place to stay, and you want to give my shout out, you're welcome. You're welcome by my home anytime. I'm sorry to hear whatever troubles you may be going through, but that is life, such is life. You know, God bless you and keep you safe and well. You understand? One more thing. To my good friend Twiggy, when you see you want to come out and call Doggy Dog, you must watch my videos. Maybe a second time and understand it. Don't take China from nobody else to come and talk a certain shit. I respect you enough to tell you that. You understand? So try to beg you and the people around the world. All have a pleasant and a good night. And all be safe for me. Where all your master? You know? So I'm going now to eat a little dashi bush bhaji and fry plantain. A good hot sara roti with the madam now cooked it for me. You understand? Now I'm feeling like an angel. My mind, my head feeling light. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling like a, a bird come up for me. So, Dwarka, don't come for me unless I send for you, Solia. And I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. Start posting. Because watch me. If I had nothing you could post, you could say, oh, I say she raped me. But hell yeah, say she raped me because you pay me to say that. You pay me to say that. What do you want me to do again? 
And don't come down here and bully fucking Mala for she house. That is not your house. You understand? That is not your fucking property. You're coming to bully the fucking people for the thing. You're too bold face. You're too bold face, Dorka. You're a lying man. You're lying on the fucking girl. You're just lying on the girl. I'm telling you that. I'm here siding for she. My eyes opening. It's opening. And to all my lovely friends. Here what's going on. Sunshine. Kia. Figgy. And to the Asha Samaru. Time to drop that shit. Time to move on. Life too short. Let me live life. Let me live life. Yeah. So let me live life. Let me live life. You understand? Only have a pleasant and wonderful afternoon. Love you all. Be safe. God bless.